Hello everybody, welcome to Garrett's Gaming. I'm your host Garrett. Today back at it again with some more Empire at War. Today, I'm not recording while people are sleeping so I can talk normally. Yay! Um, so in the last episode, I, I don't remember. I recorded the, that like a couple of days ago. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, that's right, the... The uh, Imperial fleet that's here that I'm gonna try and take out before they get a space station, which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do if I'm careful. And over here, I'm get gearing up to invade. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. Is that a? That is. I think that's a Jawa tank. I think they just straight up get a Jawa tank. <laughs> it's kind of funny to be honest. Um. Oh, Renegade Squadron is off the line. Hell yeah. Yep, be a part of that. Holy crap. Renegade Squadron's powerful, if I remember correctly. Um. Does anything actually live on this planet? Not live on it, but exist on this planet? Because if not, I'm just going to straight up... I'm just curious. Because I could get another high-paying world pretty quickly, and then just put some proper defenses on this. Eh, this isn't a very easy world to defend, I don't think. Manan would have to be a target so we can get these together so I can properly defend this world. And then, commoner. I'm just going through and making see what everything. Recruitment time for all units increased to due to just... To the what? Recruitment time of all units is increased. Caused by, okay, consistent parties. Oh, okay. That's a funny, hang on a minute, that's hilarious. So they don't actually, they produce slower units because everybody who's producing the units is fucking partying all the time. That's fucking hilarious, actually. Um, alright. Smugglers Run. I didn't even know Smugglers Run was a thing. That's cool, actually. And... We need to start getting some defenses on this world. What is here? Oh! Yeah, get to there if you can. Or no, we, we can't wait. We can't afford to wait on this one. Can I take out a Star Destroyer? Let's think really critically here. What's our fighter squadrons gonna be looking like? We're gonna get one Z95 squadron. Okay. So that's three Z95s. Two X Wings. That's it, pretty much. But then we got one Z9, two Z95s. So that's all together three Y Wings that we can have out one time. Three of these. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. We'll definitely beat them in just pure out all out fighters. TIE fighters, TIEs. Yeah, let's just do it. We are not gonna get a better opportunity. Go for it. We are literally not gonna get a better opportunity. Start going here though, because we're probably gonna need immediate reinforcements. <laughs> Alright, pause, 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 pause. I want you to start moving out that way. Good to here, we're gonna pause again. We actually own this world. Get some defenses on that right away. Okay. Go here, please. And the force is over here. What were you lacking again? Fighters. You're lacking fighters significantly. Um. Yeah, remember, we do actually have artillery support in this one, but it's expensive. Uh, let's get one more of those. And then, what's yours looking like? Three. Ah. Get that. We need Y-Wing bombers. And you know what? Get a U-Wing as, as well to keep the fighters actually alive. Alright. See, once the thing is, once this is done, we can actually use the X-Wings 
to kind of, yeah okay so here's the plan though. all right let's get this battle started um all right pause let's bring out hmm let's bring out you in the back yeah we're not gonna bring out any of these guys. We'll bring out you so you can start getting some shots in pretty quickly. We'll bring out the little attack uh, squadron of specifically hammerheads. Do you have brace? I don't know what you have. I thought you had brace, I guess not. And we have a little attack squadron of those. Let's bring out the X-Wings. Try and bring out all fires. I forgot I had Rogue Squadron in here. That's pretty good, actually. Let's go some Squadron Size 12, Squadron Size 6. So you actually have a higher Squadron Size. And fives. What Squadron Size do you have? I wonder what the Squadron Size of the other ones are. You have a Squadron Size of 6 as well. Bring out all of these, because you guys are going to be useful to kind of keep the... We'll, we'll save the rest of these in case we need to go out on a full-on fight. I'm going to be trying to defeat Star Destroyers with this little mini-ass fleet here. Please be something good. Are you kidding? No! It's a CGR! We won the battle, guys. Oh, man. It's not even the repair variant. Oh, man, we won the battle. It's, it's in the bag here now. Okay. Let's get these guys to be group four. Group three, group one, group two. This is pretty much, yeah, we can't. Let's get these guys out. Just so we have some more fighters to kind of deal with them. All right, one, you're gonna go for, what's your squadron size? Three. Not a lot, but hey. Better than nothing. Begin to engage. Wait, group one? You're missing a vital piece to this plan. Group three, move out as well. Group two. I want sh yeah. Group two. I want you to actually be group three, and then you guys to be group two. Group three, move out. But try and be slower, specifically, because I you guys are really slow anyway. What's your squadron size? Six. Okay. Pretty universal. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we're going to actually be able to do here. Group three. Run this way. And like, get there quickly. I don't want them to be able to see that we're there. I've actually never seen you guys kick off. Does it look like the movies? It kind of does, actually. Oh, it does. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That the engines kind of look like the movies do when they're kicking off. It's very obvious which one is the faster ship. All right, group one is in range, officially. Let's find those ties. Hello? Ties? Okay. Here they are, here they are, here they are. They're protecting the back. Group. Yeah, work on them. Start to work on the shield generators. Group three, work on the other shield generator. Actually, start working on the engines. Group one, strike. Group three, I want you to actually turn around and engage that. Okay. Take out the shields. That's your next target. 
Actually, pause. You're still going just as fast, so take out the other engines. How far are you along? Oof. Start trying to run. Or no, 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 don't do that. That's a stupid thing to do. You're actually in a really good spot right now with all the support vehicles in the back behind and the three dreadnoughts. We're going to wait until, yeah, keep trying to, maybe we can take them out actually before anything can terrible can happen. Is that a pirate fleet? Group one. Start assisting. Take out the engines. Or specifically... Take out the engines. The rest of group one, you guys engage here. And group three is dealing with this guy. That's pretty good, pretty decent. Group two is getting off its second bombing run. Did it just... They're shooting it off too quick. It's not getting there in time. Oh, that's so bad. All right, move forward. You guys have to move forward. You gotta take the brunt for the rest of the fleet. Oh no! Do they see them? They see them, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Group two, how you guys doing? Group have you finally launched? You are launching and you are... Oh, group three? Group two? Get the hell out over here as quickly as you can. Group three? Get over here as quickly as you can, destroy those fighters. They're gonna tear through our ships. Okay, split the fire, split the fire, move up, move up. Okay, let's see how long we can hold out. Hey, can you shoot yet? You can? Give us an ion barrage. Oh boy. Hey, group one. Take out the shields. Group four. Turn around and deal with that. Or actually, no, keep worrying about them. Group three, group three, group two. Start dealing with these guys immediately. Group four, deal with those. Group three, how are we holding? Holding terribly, but I think they're fully engaged. If it weren't for this fleet, I would bring in the big bad. Uh, if you can take out the shield generators. Make it weaker, make it weaker. Okay. Group two, actually turn around and re-engage. Just kill whatever you can get. Same with you, keep going at them. All right, do it. This might suck really badly. Come on, don't shoot it, don't shoot it. Nothing's shooting it, nothing's shooting it. Nothing's actually shooting it. Oh my God, we got it. No. Give us a full salvo. Take out the shields. Hell yeah, we are gonna lose this, but hey, I will honestly take that. Okay, start taking it out. I want you to give us, you already given us full self, oh, perfect. Hey, you, deal with that shit, please. How many, oh, did we already lose Dreadnought? We almost did, we're probably not gonna lose actually any Dreadnoughts. He's desperately turning around to get his cannons into range. Group one and group two are still dealing with this guy but it's almost destroyed. 
Hey, group five. Start just laying into this guy. Just kind of destroy him. You're a little slow, but hey, you're at least doing stuff. Oh, here comes the torps. Ooh, right into the tractor beam. That's actually really cool that that happened that way. Hey, group three, engage. Take out whatever you can. I love the Dreadnoughts. They are actually one of my favorite ships in this game. One of them, not the favorite, but they are one of them just because of the way it is. The way they fire, the way the guns fire. Hey! This went surprisingly well. Oh! Oh! Damn! Damn! Alright, hunt. Hunt. Find their last tr troops. The two, hunt. Don't hunt. You start looking for them. They're gonna get away. I cannot believe we just did that. That is, we didn't lose anything, I don't think. We might have lost a Z95 squadron. I don't even think that, wait, that's the squadron we paid for. I don't even think we lost the Z95 squadron. Holy crap, that was really good battle. Hey! We didn't lose a single freaking thing. Oh my god. That, I could, oh my god. And that's it, I'm pretty sure that's the fleet. The big scary fleet. We could just mop these guys. Uh oh. Oh thank god. Pause, hang on, I'm gonna save the game really quick. My God, I cannot believe that just worked. What's our what's what's our uh, space sense? Uh, oh, and we get a Xena Arc ones, yay! Dude, Arc One squadrons are like my favorite fire squadron of the game, pretty much, besides the X-wing. Join up with the main fleet. Join up with the main fleet. Hey you, how's our forces looking? Let's just, let's just bully this dude. I don't think we need anything else, do we? Yeah, you start spying on Eridu. Eh, I'll send you this just to be safe. I'm really hoping that it doesn't get there in time. Build ground running facilities. He does not have this yet. Oh, what's the mission? Hey, you don't say H wing bomber squadrons? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is the most convenient thing in existence. I've never actually used H wings in this game. They're apparently like an amazing bomber. Hey. Yeah, this fleet, it's pretty much non-existent. There are no Star Destroyers in this fleet. This is the fleet over Erdu. What does the fleet over Solus look like? Because I could totally just sneak around here with this fleet and nail Solus. I could take this entire squadron out. That Star Destroyer is like the big scary thing of this fleet, and it doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, they do have... A three, so they probably will have another Star Destroyer. But hey, it's doable now. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to immediately get... Come on. We're not going to wait for the other ones. The second this is here, we're going to attack. I cannot afford for them to get anything online. Any form of structure online. The second we get there. Pirates to Black Sun. Wait, Roche? The Roche Asteroid Belt? Is that... 
down here the Hapes? Isn't that near us? Eh, kind of. I think we need to get it for the mission, but we'll worry about that later. Alright. Hit the ground. Hit the freaking ground. Alright. Pause. Bring everything down. And sure, we'll actually bring these guys two down. That way they don't... He isn't a jerk and come down here and try and steal this landing platform from us. I love that he comes down and landing a falcon. You guys are going to be my main attack force. Head there. He knows he can't win, so he is going to try to retreat. Do not allow him to do so. Oh, that cheeky little... Th there he is. Take him out. He is a singular unit. Is this the one unit? Okay, so it's an entire little platoon here. Right? There's one other dude here. Is this, the, is this him? No, that's an RTST. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Where are we shooting at right now? Where is he? I can't even see him. I don't even know where this dude is. Ooh, Mandalorians. Uh. They can actually pretty much destroy. Hey, group one. Get over here and start dealing with these guys as well. Deal with them before they kill you. him? Is this him? No. Oh, 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 oh. Is this him? No, but don't let him, don't let him take that. They will retreat. I'm pretty sure they would retreat if they could. Pause. I want to find a particular hero unit. There you go. Is this him? This is him, this is him. That's the hero unit. Kill this guy and we have the whole entire fleet destroyed. That's, that's the unit that we have to kill. And then that's their hero unit, then they pretty much don't have anything else. What is this? I'm sorry, what do you have? They have security troops here? That's actually really cool. Oh! Did we kill him? We did? Uh, target that. Keep attacking. Come on, you can do it. Did we act? Does that actually? It doesn't actually count as us killing him. If we don't actually kill his entire unit, that's a little baloney. Do they just not spawn with him next time? Because I know if you take out Chewbacca or Han Solo from the duo of this guy, they won't spawn. Hey, look at this. What are you dealing with? Proton bombs. Damn. And its predecessor needs the Operation 3 personal team, making it criminal intensive. Scratches thankfully, H-Wing. 
uh, can overcharge his own, allowing him to escape unfavorable situations. That ain't bad. That is not bad at all. Now we just need to focus on getting you proper fighter support, and we should be good. You're building that. What is this now? Volunteers present to them, and Manny asked to be assigned to you. That's cool. I love that. Now, what's your support look like? 41. That's not bad. Okay. We just took Navarro f straight from under their noses. And the Imperials wanted this planet, which I find hilarious. Okay, the rest of the defense fleet is here. So get on the ground. And we'll spend the rest of this money getting a couple of X-Wings. That is not bad. That is not a bad... I'm actually really proud of myself that I was able to destroy that fleet. Anywho, that's 71%. Um, let's skedaddle on over here to Lothal. Join up with this fleet. Same with Jibben. Not doing a whole lot there. Go join up with this fleet. Pause. I can't actually see what you got here. Join up with this fleet. Move over here. Alright. So eventually I do want to kind of mow over these two worlds. That way we can join up with the Yavin fleet. The Yavin 4 fleet. Because this would be a really good fleet to mix with this fleet. That would make it a really proper fleet. Alright. Technically we could go do a ground attack right now, but I don't think I'm going to. So we could take that, and then we have free will to just kind of walk over, lock the Vestral Asteroid Belt, then we could add, attach this fleet. Or no, it's better to have these two fleets separated. It's because there's such a wide area to cover, it'd be really hard for one fleet to kind of control that all. Even with my Hut campaign, you saw how hard it was for me to control such a small sector with even one fleet. And it was like a sector of four planets, and it was extremely hard to control. Definitely next episode, I am going to be going down here. We'll put the rangers down first. Camino, what are you looking like on the ground? You should get some, uh, you should get some rebel, rebel armor here, or life factory. And then these guys, we're going to start marking down the buffer zone. So we would need Rathenvar. Do we need Centaurus? I'm assuming so. Centaurus, the wheel. We don't actually need the Asteroid Bell, which is interesting. Forlem Aquarium. Where's all that? Where's Forlem? Where is that? Oh, it's over here. Forlem Aquaria. Basically, this entire sector here, we need. I think even, we don't need Corban, do we? What, did, what does Corban get? Sith get, oh, that's cool. We don't actually have Siths, though. Do we need to get Corban? We do not. Selkim. So yeah, pretty much, do I need to get, how far out do I need to go? Do I need to get Spy, Spy Laura, or wherever that is? What, whatever planet that is, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. No. Yeah, so it's pretty much this, these worlds here I need to take. Like, all of these worlds here I need to take. Zygeria, what do you get from here? Black Sun can resort slavers, generation slavers, okay. Here, gambling activity, uh, can build ground foundry, okay, manufacturing base, eddy free. Okay. Global, is that the right one? No, 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 no. I want the. Uh, anyway. Global hiking come to the capital of the sector authority. We can't actually build anything 
here and just give you a really high value. What world here? Was it this? That you could build like the really, really cool battle dreadnoughts or whatever? High income provided in section not hydrogen. Wait, what? No, it's not that one. Rendil. Kid and Moidia. Thorough. Kion Slayer, whatever that is. There's a world that I'm specifically looking for that you can like build really cool dreadnoughts from. Forest? No. Where where would this be? I don't actually know where it is. Weird. I know that there's a world somewhere here that you can like build incredibly cool things at. Is it Hasana Prime? No, I don't think so. A lot of these have high income. We do actually own that, so we should be getting this as soon as we possibly can. And Manan should be our at least taking the orbit of Manan. We do technically have a load of dreadnoughts, plus this, so that would be able to keep our dreadnoughts along. Our uh, cartel tech, too. That's our first enemy tech up, I think. Interesting. We could go to Eridu really quick because of this hyper lane here. Not going to, because Eridu is a lot harder to take. But I definitely want to take Solace soonish. I'm going to want a couple more capitals in this fleet. Which, do I even have anything here that can build capitals? Solace Fan. Or, yeah, Solace Fan. You can, you can build capitals, can't you? Yeah, you can. So we'll get that done. We don't actually have any capital tech, so I'll just straight up build the capital ships. I'll build a couple of these to go along with my... What are you technically called? Battle carrier? Hey, yeah, yeah, you actually have a pretty decent fighter capacity. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like mine, go check out my brother's channel at Mercury Plays Games. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!